Hey guys, Matt here. If you are a lover of the Canon G7X or G7X Mark II, but you hate that that dust gets underneath your lens and there's no way to get it out, you're gonna be very interested in this video because I'm gonna clean that up and get it looking just like it was the day you bought it. So first let's overview the problem real quick. There is an outside surface to this lens right here. But the problem lies in the fact that if you're a lifestyle vlogger like me, you're constantly putting this camera into harm's way. I'm brutal on this thing every single day. A lot of times I'm having it hang out the driver's side window outside, air is pummeling it. I live in China, there's dust in the air already. That dust gets into the internal lens mechanism and onto the inside of the lens glass. I went to a few Canon places and they told me that it shouldn't interfere with the actual recording and in most cases in low light situations it might not. But when there's a lot of glare, there's a lot of sun, maybe you're outside, it's a blue sky and you just do one little pan and all of a sudden the glint off of all that dust is picked up inside and you can see it in your picture. Here's a picture of the lens before I cleaned it. And here's a picture of the lens after I finished cleaning it. Pretty stark difference. Let me show you how I did it. In order to uh, clean the inside of the lens, you have to gain access behind this glass. That's the tricky part. There are a few steps you can take in order to get there. So first, turn on the camera. When you turn it on, you can see that the lens actually extends, but we wanna extend it out all the way. So I'm gonna zoom all the way in so that the lens is totally extended. Now, what we want to do is take the power out of the camera so we can actually operate on this lens mechanism and not have it moving in and out or mess up any components while the camera's going. So take the battery out. Now the lens is permanently out and it won't try to extend back into itself. You can actually remove this. It's a sleeve. It's a metal cover that actually covers the internal components here. Before I remove it though, I have to warn you that the shutter that closes over this lens is housed and kept in place by this cover. So when you remove it, make sure you remove it straight up and straight out. All you have to do is give it a little bit of back and forth and it will dislodge itself. Once you do, you simply slide it off and remember to go straight up. Okay? Remember that anytime you tip this more forward, you have to put your finger on the shutter pieces or else uh, they'll fall off and they're a pain in the butt to put back right and if you remove the last one, it's almost impossible once you remove the spring mechanism. So make sure you keep your finger on there anytime you clean. Now as you can see, I've already made the fix. A hole that I drilled with two bits. The first one I used was a very, very thin drill bit. The second one I used was a 5.5 uh, millimeter. Be sure you know that this is gonna cause a lot of debris. So while you're drilling or doing anything, have a vacuum cleaner ready to suck anything out. When I was drilling this originally, I had my finger on the shutter. I had the drill bit in my hand. I actually drilled this without any machines. I just used my fingers and I drilled and then I drilled and I wanted to make sure that while I did it, I was very, very careful as to how quick I was drilling in and how much debris I was causing. And I was using the vacuum cleaner constantly to remove that debris. Another note, when you're drilling the hole through, you have to make sure that there's no burrs on the inside of the hole. So what I take is a little Dremel bit and I actually very carefully scoured the inside of that hole to make sure that there was no piece of plastic that might have been hanging off that would catch. So now that we have a top hole and a bottom hole, you might be asking yourself, why did I drill two holes? When you have the Q-tip into the lens, you can clean the far side better than you can clean the close side. So what I did is I actually made it so I could get in on both sides and clean both sides. The other reason I did it that way was so that when I was cleaning, I could have the vacuum cleaner going on one side and I could be cleaning on the other side and then the dirt that I was dislodging would actually get sucked up on the opposite hole. Be careful when using a Q-tip that any of the fibers that come off get sucked up into the vacuum cleaner and don't stay inside the lens. That could cause some problems. But if you're using the vacuum cleaner constantly, you shouldn't have that problem. Any of the debris that comes off on the Q-tip along with the debris on the lens gets sucked up out the opposite hole.
Once you're finished and you're all cleaned up, all you gotta do is put the metal sheath back on. This will cover up those holes so that you won't get any dust in when you're using the camera regularly. It slides right into place. Once you do that, you put the battery back in, lock it on down, and you're good to go. That is a super clean lens, just like the day I bought it. I hope this hack helps you to save your G7X camera. It's such a good camera, it does so many good things that to not use it because it's got all this dust in the lens was unacceptable, so I found this solution. I hope it works for you. Make sure you take your time when you do this hack so that you don't end up messing up the inside of the lens surface, say with the drill bit going in too quick, or any burrs on the inside of the hole. I'm sure you'll be able to squeeze out a lot of extra life in your camera. You guys might have noticed that I don't have anything covering my microphone. Well, that's because I took my little microphone hack cover off because there are two problems with the G7X. One is wind noise and the other is a dusty lens. With a little bit of patience and a little ingenuity, you can fix both. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out my daily vlog where I travel around China and prepare to recycle around the world from China all the way to the United States. I've climbed Everest and doing adventures along the way and making videos every day. Thanks a lot, take it easy, Jayo, and I'll see you next time.